Hello, I'm Alexandra Billinghurst, Vice President of IPA, and I'm delighted to talk to you today about my role in the organization. I'm speaking from the perspective of the current situation with Stefano Bolognini as president and me as vice president. Every team of president, vice president will of course form their own way of working together. As prospective members of the IPA board or members of committees or even as potential candidates for the vice presidency, you will know that the IPA is a large organization with many levels of complexity to its structure. And it's my role, alongside the president, to provide you with leadership and make you feel part of this organization, to feel engaged in the work we do and make it feel meaningful for all of our members. Together, we have a shared aim to help to advance psychoanalysis and the continued development of the science. We also want to strengthen the IPA in changing world and make sure we stay relevant and provide a forum for discussion. Naturally, my role means I work closely with the president to lead the organization. What you may or may not know is that the vice president role is a new one, created in 2011 to replace the role of secretary general. I'm the first person to hold this position and the new structure gives more support to the president and helps strengthen the leadership of the IPA. The decisions that the president and I make in conjunction with the treasurer and the executive director enable the IPA to advance psychoanalytic theory through participation, professionalism and promotion. Stefano and I are focused on achieving the strategic priorities of the IPA, which we announced at Prague in 2013, and which he explains in detail in his new video. Within these priorities, there are three particular areas of interest on which I work closely with board members and chairs of committees. The first is overseeing the IPA's biennial congresses. We're currently planning for a Congress in Boston in 2015, and it's proving to be a rewarding and even fun experience. I chair the Congress Working Group, and there's a lot of work to be done, more than you might imagine. I'm very much looking forward to the Boston Congress and the opportunity it gives for so many of us to meet. It provides a great forum to discuss the vitality of our profession and the important work that's taking place internationally to advance psychoanalysis. I'm particularly excited about an initiative that we named the Boston Groups. It's a new form of sm small group discussions that Stefano and I have introduced. Its aim is to create small intimate groups composed of members from the different regions to shape a home within the Congress, enabling members to get to know colleagues with whom they might not otherwise interact. I'm really looking forward to see how it works out. Uh, I also take a special interest in the work of the International New Groups Committee. We are currently trying to strengthen the role of sponsoring committees to study groups and are putting together a course for sponsors. Alongside that, we're putting a much larger focus on the role of societies to really help new groups function. And finally, I take a special interest in the communication work of the IPA. When Stefan and I outlined our aims at Prague, communications was first on our list. We want the IPA to be a true meeting place and for it to feel closer and more meaningful for more members. The way we communicate is absolutely crucial to this succeeding. Obviously, Stefano and I work closely on these areas, but we also rely on the great work done by our expert colleagues to make this happen. We truly value the time and energy that committee chairs and board members put into the roles and the great expertise they provide to us as an organization. The president and I understand the demands of these positions and therefore we think deeply about how to get the most of our members' expertise. And it is the fundamental role of the vice president to make sure we use the time we have together as effectively as possible. Our fellow board members and committee chairs provide us with the knowledge and expertise 
that make these aims achievable, which is why we carefully select the right people for these positions to recommend to the board. I also hold a special role within the IPA elections, overseeing the process to ensure the president can make a formal announcement of the results during the Congress. I hope this has given you a little understanding of the role of the Vice President and how it contributes to the future of the IPA and to ensuring the continued vigor and development of the science of psychoanalysis. Thank you.